Conference for Ring of Fire, Fury versus Usyk, undisputed, to be held on February 17th, 2024, in Riyadh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Let's first welcome the manager of Alexander Usyk, Mr. Egis Klimas. Alexander Usyk, Mr. Alex Krasiuk of K2 Promotions. And now let's welcome from Ukraine, Undefeated with 21 wins, 14 of his 21 wins come by way of knockout. He is the former undisputed cruiserweight world champion and reigning IBF, WBA, WBO, and IBO heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. Welcome the manager of Tyson Fury, Spencer Brown of Gold Star Promotions. Let's now welcome Hall of Fame promoter, Frank Warren of Queensberry Promotions. And now let's welcome from England, undefeated with 34 wins, one draw, 24 of his 34 wins, coming by way of knockout. He is the lineal heavyweight world champion and reigning WBC heavyweight champion of the world, known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. <laughs> and now here is the host of today's press conference, Mr. Dev Sonny. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thomas Triber. Great intros there. Hello, welcome wherever you are joining us around the world here today for what is very simply a very special moment. At the highest level of sport and entertainment, it is all about creating moments. Moments that capture the attention of the world. Moments that create memories that last a lifetime. And we believe on February the 17th, we will deliver you one of those very, very special moments in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as we continue Riyadh season. The first undisputed world heavyweight champion of this century will be crowned. Two unbeaten heavyweights at the peak of their powers, at the very best, will be colliding in a fight 
that the fans have been crying out for. The WBC and long reigning lineal world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury collides with the unified world heavyweight champion Alexander Rusik at the Kingdom Arena in a history making bout that fans will never forget. The winner of this fight will be the first undisputed heavyweight champion since Lennox Lewis in 1999. It's a huge event and the Ring of Fire is the name of the event, the biggest fight in world boxing. It'll be presented to fans worldwide by the General Entertainment Authority of Saudi Arabia in conjunction with Frank Warren's Queensbury Promotions, the NEC, Gold Star Promotions and Gypsy King, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated, K2 Promotions, Usyk 17 Promotions and Seller. Uh, on behalf of Queensbury, we would like to once again express our gratitude, our heartfelt thanks to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman. And of course, we would again like to extend our thanks to the Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Excellency, Turkey Al Al Sheikh. And of course, a special thanks to all of the teams of the GEA, Riyadh Season and Sela as we continue to work, to work together to deliver historic nights that the kingdom will never forget. A special mention, of course, to Bob Arum of Top Rank Incorporated. He is still going, he is still flying the flag. He's promoting a show tonight in the States, which is why he can't be with us. So best of luck, Bob, best of luck, Top Rank, with that show tonight. I'm sure we will be tuning in. Uh, before we begin, let's just take a moment to talk about our wonderful hosts in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh season for this sensational event on February 17th. Uh, Riyadh season has simply become one of the most widely anticipated events of the year, welcoming millions of visitors from all over the world since 2019 with quite breathtaking experiences. Whether it's five-star dining, live concerts or, or high-level sports that you're looking for, Riyadh season is the place to find it. And just last month, boxing had the privilege of opening up Riyadh season, of course, with the man sat just there, Tyson Fury taking on Francis Ngannou in an unforgettable event, certainly an event I will never forget that had the world talking and the world will be talking for decades and decades to come. On February 17th, history will be made in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and either Tyson Fury or Alexander Usyk will be crowned the new undisputed world heavyweight champion. We can't wait for this one. Let's bring in first Hall of Fame boxing promoter, uh, Frank Warren. Frank, this is, uh, this is a pivotal moment in boxing, this. This is, this is absolutely huge. Talk to us a little bit about this event. First of all, well, I would want to thank um, His Royal Highness uh, Mohammed uh, bin Salman for his support and help in making this happen. And to His Excellency, the Chairman of GEA, His Ex Ex Excellency Turkey Al Al Sheikh, he's been absolutely brilliant in getting this together and giving the support to make this historic event happen. This is a, a historic event. The whole world of boxing has been waiting for this for, I can't tell you how long, many, many years, and they now got the biggest fight in the sport, and, and that is you, thanks to you and your team making it happen. We greatly appreciate that. For me, as a boxing fan, I'm a promoter, but as a, I am a boxing fan, it doesn't get any better than this. We've got it here at the table. Two great fighters, both undefeated. 17th of February, Riyadh, in the Riyadh season, you're going to see a magnificent fight. It will be magnificent because they are magnificent boxers. The styles will make it a good fight, and I'm sure that all around the world, everybody's going to be tuning to see history being made. The first time this century, we will have a unified champion. Watch it. Be there. Watch it. Wherever you can be at the time to see it, watch this moment in boxing history, in sporting history, because they come along very, very rarely. 
It, look, we, we've heard about this fight for a little while. We, we are finally here now. We saw the huge launch press conference yesterday as well of the Day of Reckoning. It feels like with Riyadh's season, with His Excellency involved, anything's possible right now, Frank. It is. I mean, look at yesterday. Yesterday was, uh, as I said, it's a game changer. Well, this is a double game changer. You know, it's just happening. You know, these fights, you know, we've all been... You know, as a promoter, I've been banging my head against the wall. I know the fans have been doing that. They've been banging my head against the wall because they want to see these fights. And now they're happening. And to crown it all, we've got the creme de la creme. This is it, the creme de la creme, the heavyweight division, the big division in boxing. These two undefeated, magnificent fighters are going to be facing up each other and we're going to see who's the best. I know who I believe is the best, and I'm sure... The other side think their man will be. And if they want to have a little wager with me, I'd gladly have a wager with them because I'm confident that our man, this man here, who has also, by the way, been voted today the world's sexiest man in a poll. Get up! He beat Ronaldo. <laughs> who? Ronaldo was yeah. second and Tommy was... 13th. 13th. So now you know... <laughs> And I've got bragging rights in the family. Tommy, you ugly bastard, if you're watching, number 13. And I just want to say a big shout out to everyone who supported me, all my friends and family for this moment. Very, very special. Sexiest sportsman alive. Never say never, people. Always believe in yourself. If you're fat and you're bald, you're probably going to get laid. Get up! <laughs> That's, uh, that's, that's great news. Congratulations on that, Tyson. Um, just quickly, Frank, before we, before we move on to Alex Krasik, I just want you to break down this, this great fight with me. Uh, we, we've got the, the world's sexiest sportsman against Alexander Usyk here. Break down the fight for me. How's it going to go? I, I, look, I, I can only say, based upon how I've seen you know, Tyson's last few fights and, and, and Alexander's, Alex's last few fights, and you'd expect, obviously, people would say, well, Tyson, they're both boxers. Tyson's a switch hitter. Alex is a southpaw. But, you know, on the night, you never know. It just, I, I just think it'll be a fight. There's a lot at stake here. And all I know, in Tyson's last, what, four or five fights, he stood toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest punching heavyweight in the last 40 years and out-duked him. You know, it was exciting. And that's what he's capable of. He can box, he can... He's got fast hands, he's got great boxing brain, and he copes and adapts to each situation. And I genuinely do believe this will be exciting whilst it lasts. Yeah. And I mean <clears throat> whilst it lasts. This is going to be something special. All right, thank you very much, Frank. Let's bring in Alex Krasik here. You've just heard uh, from Frank. He says it's going to be exciting while the fight lasts. Um, from your side, this must be quite a proud moment. You've been with Alexander for many, many years now, and he's finally going for undisputed World Heavyweight Championship crown. Talk to us. Dev, thanks for giving me the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must warn you, I have a speech to announce, and it will take a while. Uh, to say I'm delighted to be here is to say nothing. Of course, everyone understands this. We have been chasing this fight for so long, and finally it's happening. And I can hardly believe, and I will probably start believing when I hear the first bell ring, but we are making steps towards it. Uh, you know what? I want to emphasize something very important for me. I never used this opportunity, or the public opportunity, to do so. And uh, this is actually the first time. So I would like to express my sincere admiration, my respect and honor to the man who's sitting next to me on my left. We are all here because of him. Because due to his dedication, due to his faith in God and in himself, due to the tremendously hard work, we have started our journey long 10 years ago when we signed uh, the professional boxing con promotional contract. And within this time, all people know what's been achieved. But I never used the chance to thank this man, Usyk. Accept my most sincere gratitude for your trust 
and friendship and for giving me the opportunity to be your promoter throughout all this period. It's the highest recognition for me to be with you since your pro debut until the culmination of your career. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you for a round of applause for this so humble but so powerful man. Thank you. I also want to rouse my delightedness with His Excellency, Turkey Alal Sheikh. When I first met this man, I felt the endless source, you know, of inspiration, of energy and of motivation. The perpetuum mobile, you know, the, the endless, the uh, per perpetual engine, right? Uh, uh, the man who is capable of achieving the impossible. People like him create age revolutions and I'm pretty convinced His Excellency is on the way of making the revolution in professional boxing and not only. Your Excellency, thank you very much. The third man I want to talk about before he stands up and starts to walk around the table, Tyson Fury. Thank you very much, brother, for your courage and bravery to accept the fight with the future undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Thank you so much. Let the fight go You're on. You're welcome. You're welcome Let... to share in the ring with the future heavyweight undisputed champion, me. Yous are all dossers. He's getting knocked out, and you two are going to be working for me, carrying me bag slinks. So remember that. Remember I said it on this stage. Let the fight go on. Let Let's get the, the press conference going, Sausage. Win. Let your man and talk. And let the belts come back home to Ukraine. Thank you, ladies I already and relieved gentlemen. one Ukrainian of all the belts. Glory and to I the heroes. That idiot of the belts I gave him. Including me ring magazine that I only vacated last year, so I can win it back three times, sausage. I'm gonna bust him. Sausage, ugly little man, rabbit. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. More, more. I don't want a more, more. You know what's coming, you're getting smashed to pieces, sausage. You're fighting the best British heavyweight there's ever been. The fucking dauntless in these waters, me. You beat all the rest of them, but you ain't beat Tyson Fury yet, sausage. Look at him, his heart's pounding now. He's like a little pussy with an earring in. Shit hey, house. His bollocks have shriveled up now, do you have? Little sausage. I don't, I I don't see more with an in, you fucking pussy. I'm you very happy uh, out. to be here. Thank you so much, everybody, people. I more speak in the ring. Very good, very good. Thank you. Get knocked out, motherfucker. Out cold sausage, rabbit. And you two promoters are going to be working for me as bag carriers. We will see, yeah. Yeah, we, we will see. see. Uh -huh. You can't beat me. You can never beat me. If you, if you beat me in your dreams, you better wake up and apologise. I stole that from Ali, by the way, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> enough? Enough? Do you have a response, Alexander? No, let's, let's go ahead. Hey, my friend. <laughs> that was a small you, break. you stop? <laughs> Maybe enough? Sorry? Enough? Enough what? You stop, you stop talk? I come here to pick a fight. I didn't come here to play games. I didn't get all dressed up for nothing. I come here to fight. Or pick one even. You ugly little man. You ugly little man. Little man. Yeah, little. <laughs> I, yes, I little man. No, you're not that little. You're about average size for an heavyweight. You, I little man, but I uh, big you, champion. You're about average size for an heavyweight, six foot three, 16 stone. That's about how big they come usually. Perfect size. Perfect size. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you, Alexander. We'll come back to that very shortly. I, ju I just want to hear from him. I want to bring in Spencer Brown at this point. Uh, Spencer, you've obviously been working very closely on this event with Queensbury, with His Excellency as well. You sat there next to Tyson, who's telling Alexander exactly what he's going to do. Uh, tell us your thoughts heading into this one. My thoughts are uh, very, very, uh, very, very quick and very easy. I don't think there's anybody alive who can beat Tyson Fury, no heavyweight, no cruiserweight, anybody who can beat him. I think that um, there was nobody to beat him in the last, I don't know how many years. He's undefeated, he'll remain undefeated 
he'll win this one, and he'll win the next one, and the next one, and the next one. I can't see anybody beating this man. Get up there, Spencer. Go on, my son. Go on, son. <laughs> Thank you, Spencer. Let's bring in Aegis Klimas. Aegis, uh, a big moment in the career, the mountaintop moment potentially of Alexander Usyk. Tell us what you're thinking about this fight. Uh, good evening, everybody. Pleasure to be here in London. First of all, I wanted to thank His Excellency to making things what he does in boxing. And second, what I wanted to say, this is the easiest fight I ever made in my career. One day I got a phone call from Tyson's friend, Tim, and Tim said to me, I guess Tyson wants this fight. And I said, Alexander wants this fight as well. And I then he says, let me pass your number to the manager of Tyson. And I think if you two are going to get in the room, the fight is going to be made. Next thing, I have a phone call from Spencer, and he asked me to fly to New York. Next morning, I already was in New York. We got in the room, Spencer, Dr. Akan, myself, and about in the one hour of our talk, we left the room with a handshake, and the fight was made. That's what we are here, uh, looking forward for these two guys to bring a firework in the ring, to bring to the fans one of the greatest, biggest fight in the history was made. And I'm so proud to be involved in this kind of a fight. I wanted to thank my man, Alexander, for what he does. Again, His Excellency, beautiful country, Saudi Arabia. We'll see you on February 17th. Thank you, Igis Klimas. Well, let's bring in the unified world heavyweight champion, Alexander Usyk. Alexander, I have heard you talk about absolute, undisputed, becoming undisputed world heavyweight champion for so long now. The moment has arrived. Tell us what you're thinking, Alexander. Я б міг говорити англійською, але я не все скажу. Моя англійська ще не така гарна, як я хочу. My English is not sufficient enough, not as good enough as I want it to be, so I will start in Ukrainian, please. Алекс мені допоможе. Alex will help me. Я хочу розказати одну історію, яка дуже схожа на нашу з Тайсоном. I want to tell one story which looks very similar to our story with Tyson. Про Давіда і Голіафа. About David and Goliath. Коли Господь дасть мені його в руки, то я зроблю свою роботу. When the Lord gives me Tyson in my hands, I will make my job. Impossible. The Lord would never deliver me to you, son. Ever. У Господа нічого немає неможливого. Ever. Never. The Lord has nothing impossible. Nothing's impossible, but he'd never deliver me to you. Especially if I'm wearing earrings. Ever. Believe that. When you sleep at night, ugly man, you've got to think of me for the next eight weeks. Think of me, because I'm going to punch your face in. Alexander, do you, do you have any response to these comments, what that Tyson's saying? He can't have any response, because it's true. No. No response, okay. No comments. No comment. Listen, Tyson... You, you have written many pages in heavyweight history so yeah. far. Chance to write another one, undisputed. Please, take the floor. Listen, I'm getting a little bit carried away here. I'm excited and I'm enjoying it. So before I kick off even more, I want to say a big thank you to Turkey Al Sheikh for putting it on. It was only a few, well, last year, all these boxing fights seemed impossible to make. And uh, Turkey Al Sheikh, His Excellency, has made them all in five minutes, it seems like that. Um, so, yeah, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, get up! Get up, Turkey Al Sheikh! Um, yeah, and back to this, look. I've been in many, many heavyweight title fights before. Um, it is what it is. And now is uh, the most important one. You know, me and Alexander, both undefeated. He's a champion, I'm a champion. And it's going to be one of the fights for the ages, you know. It's been, someone told me the other day, it's been 24 years since we had our last undisputed world heavyweight champion. Now, we know that the both Klitschko's was champions for around about 10 years. So there's been another 14 years where all the heavyweights couldn't do it. So we've been chosen. 
And I believe we're both destined to be here, um, to be in this uh, big fight in Saudi Arabia, the Ring of Fire. Um, and there's only one winner. And I'm destined to become the undisputed champion. And more than that, I'm destined to cement my legacy as the number one fighter of this era. And to do that, I've got to beat this little man. And that's it. Simple as. Easier said than done, I understand. He's a tricky man. Good boxer. Slick. All of that. But listen, I've um, seen many, many people like him before. And when they fight the big men, they struggle. And uh, he's going to struggle on February 17th. And he will lose. I will break him. For sure. Tyson, you, you've referred to him as a middleweight before. You've talked about his size. But he was big enough to beat Derek Chisora, Daniel Dubois and Anthony Joshua. Yeah. Why is he not big enough to beat Tyson Fury? Because they're all bums. Um, that's probably it. Um, he's, for never mind the size. He is a middleweight. Box at 75 kilo, but... It's not the size of the, the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. And obviously he's got a big fight inside of him. But when you meet a big man who's a lot bigger than you, who's also got the fight inside of you, let's just put it in a nutshell, you're fucked. And that's it. Uh, Alexander, what, what do you think when Tyson Fury calls you a middleweight and he talks, uh, talks to you like this? What do you think? Maybe it's true. It was. <laughs> I don't know. You've, uh... For me, it doesn't matter, you know. Tyson Fury every time uh, a lot of speak, but for me, it doesn't matter. Alexander, you have faced off with Tyson Fury a couple of times now. Now, after the Derek Chisora fight, he was in your face, he was very loud, he said a few things. Then after the Francis and Ngannou fight, it was a bit more quiet. Have you taken anything from these face-offs when you've looked into his eyes? В першому, в перший раз, коли ми бачили фейс-офф, Тайсон Фьюрі був дуже енергічний, дуже веселий та дуже мотивований. The first time I made the face-off with Tyson after the Zora fight, he was very motivated, with high energy, with high spirits. Останній раз він був втомлений. The last time he was exhausted. Well, Tyson, let, let me bring you in here. Is this the biggest threat you've faced so far? Nowhere near. Easy fight. Nowhere near the biggest threat. He's a, he's a, he's a boxer. We know he's a slick boxer, Southpaw. He ain't the biggest puncher in the world. Um, and he's not the biggest, strongest man in the world. So, listen, I can outbox him. I can get on the front foot and slaughter him. There's plenty of ways that I can uh, skin this cat. But we'll find out on the night. And Listen, obviously it's a no contest when we're up here talking shite because I'm speaking to myself and they're conferring amongst each other and yada, yada, yada. But we're not here to talk. It's not a talking contest because it's just not. It's a boxing match. And on February 17th, all the talking's out the window. Nothing matters what you've said or what I've said. It comes down to who's going to win the fight. And that's what pay-per-view's for. And that's what these boxing fights are for, is it not? For people to tune in and watch who's going to fucking win the fight. And that's it. There's nothing more to be said. He thinks he's going to win, maybe. I think I know I'm going to win, and, and that's it. There's nothing more anyone can say. That's it. There's not much more to be said, is there? There's not. I've got one more for you, though. After his fight with Daniel Dubois, yeah. you said that he quit in that fight. I did think so, yes. Talk to us about that. I think Why he you... got hit in the body, and a good body shot, and he didn't want to get up for five minutes. So, yeah, there you have it. Alexander, any, any response to that? Та мені взагалі без разниці, що він думає. I have I absolutely don't care of what Tyson thinks of that. 
Thank you, Alexander Rusik. Uh, I think well, that... here's the question then. Did you get hit low or not? Була перемога. Руку підняли мені. Did he get hit low? Uh, I watched boxing Судья зафіксував, що цей удар був ніж пояса. So yeah, there you are. Crawling around the floor like a little bitch, crying. Referee. That's what he did. That's what he was doing again on February 17th. When he gets busted up, uh, masterpieces, masterpieces, blood all over the ring, he'll be crawling and rattling his little hands on the floor. Tyson, like a your interpretation is. is not precise. And, he, and his I'm two sorry. boys next to him will be all making excuses. Oh, yada yada, he was too big, he's only a cruiserweight, yada yada yada. You know the score, same old shite. Is there anything Thank else? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mayor all night. Thank you very much, Tyson. Thank you, everyone at this table. Frank, I'm just going to come to you here to, to close up this press conference here today. Uh, it's wet the appetite. We've got an undisputed fight. Talk to us. Final thoughts. It's simply history. It's history on the 17th of February. We are, for the first time this century, going we to We all get what we want. Exactly. You get what you want, what you've been asking for, and we will have a unified heavyweight champion in Riyadh, in Riyadh season. It will be a fantastic night for boxing because we'll see who is the best heavyweight on the planet who's sitting next to me. Thank you very much, Frank. Frank, here's a question for you. I thought I was afraid to fight him. How often, how long have we been trying to make this fight? I don't know, but what happened to all the chat of me being afraid and I was a chicken and I was a shit house and I won't fight Alexander Rusek and he's a killer and all that? What happened to that? Well, we signed for it last year and it didn't happen, not down to you. I know, but like all of this talk, Tyson's scared of Alexander, he doesn't want to fight. What are we doing here now then? Well, we're here and it's going to happen. And on the 17th, they're going to, you know, Look, history, as I say, will be made. Tyson, the problem is that today is not February 17th and the fight is not happening yet. But yes, we, it's we, happening. we will pray. Unless your man pulls out, it's not happening. The only person you give your word. is you guys. Sorry, you give your word. I'll just say one thing, and this is a fact. The last time we signed for this fight, which was last year, you pulled out. Yeah? Yep. So now we've got it on now, and you can't pull out twice. And we won't pull out. I know you're not going to pull out. And we, and we, Tyson certainly isn't. This fight is on. And all we've got to focus on is what will happen on that night. We'll find out, Frank, won't we? We will find out. Cliffhanger. It will be. It's going to happen. It's going to be a magnificent occasion for boxing, I promise you. It's going to be a great, great night for boxing. Thank you, thank you, gentlemen. On February 17th, only one man will be able to walk this earth as the undisputed Tyson Fury. World Heavyweight Champion. Spencer Brown. Tyson Fury. <laughs> and thanks, Turkey Al Sheikh, as well, because you're the man behind this and you made it all happen. Simple as that. Thank well done, Turkey. You look there, my boy, Turkey. We're actually going to do a face-off down the front now. We're going to welcome His Excellency, Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority, Turkey Al Sheikh to the stage. Thank you.